sometimes it snows in Minnesota. You you might find that hard to believe. But using a shovel like this, it's not practical. You could do it this way too. But why would you when lazy people invented better methods? There gotta be a better way. <laughs> This video is not sponsored by the Toro Power Shovel. That's kind of cute, but I don't know if it's manly enough for us. We need something with a little more power. The riding four-wheeler in Minnesota is a lot of fun. A lot of people do it, and somebody had a brilliant idea of why not put a dozer on the front of it. Well, even better, we put hand warmers and thumb warmer on it. And a windshield. One way to make this thing plow more snow is to make the blade bigger. Let's try something. much fun doing that. Am I skinnier now? Yeah, I should get one of them stickers for me. Well, this project just got dropped off. That's Matthew's project. He's got some, some work to do back there. I was going to help him out and help Brian with this. This is a snowplow for his four-wheeler. And he wants it wider. I could make a joke there, but I'm not going to. It'd be wrong. So, he supplied that. <laughs> Trouble is, we got a curve. Flat earth. Curved earth. Flat earth. So Brian likes them curvy, not... So we're just here at my house. I, I, I don't have a press or anything like that to bend this. So I kind of got to use my redneck ingenuity. Three pound hammer and a vice grip. Ten pound sledgehammer. <laughs> My first thought is I wanted to run over that with a pickup to try to bend it. I thought, well, what if I put it underneath this big old behemoth here? Use a floor jack. Try to bend it that way. Might be a couple problems. This thing might not be heavy enough to actually bend them. Lifting the boat. We're kind of working. So I flipped those plates end for end. Let's try this again, try to bend the other side. curve to it. Oh, shouldn't have to strain myself on Christmas Day. If at first you don't succeed, get a bigger hammer. My grip is slipping, that's what's wrong. Wow. There it went. First time using a jack. Well, what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> We're in the ballpark. So the trick is make a, a curve in your dirt. <laughs> Take a 10 pound sledgehammer. And we're getting pretty close. I'm gonna take some more hammering. 
had to go grab Grandpa's favorite tool. Well, after several more minutes of beating, well, this is the other plate now. I mean, minor altercations with a 10 pound sledgehammer. So I, I tacked it, I started welding, and as I go, I bend it to fit. Okay, putting that clamp on there definitely helped that. It's getting that time of day where I gotta go to my in-laws for Christmas day festivities <laughs> so i gotta give up on this project for now brian yeah roughly the right shape hey stay hold on no no cow sit down no nice <laughs> to lift it. He wants a lower hole so you can lift it higher. spring replaced. A little lighter spring. I'm a little concerned the spring's a little thin. I think I'm going to call that side good. So I end up putting that on there to pull this over because there was getting to be a gap. But we're we're walking it up. We get that straight, weld it, get that. Okay, on to the next section. Try to bake the paint on there a little bit or dry it. There. Now it's six feet wide. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.